Only me, John again. Right, I'm gonna do this section here. Um, I may do my first section again, because I checked the video and I was like, ooh, not really keen on it. So, um, voices saw, as most people who've watched my videos this week will know. Um, so I'm talking a bit croaky. Right. So, what should we start off with? Start off with this bit here. A band that I don't see anybody mention in the VC, and it is The Alarm, and uh, this one's Electric Folk Live, and uh, that's from 88. And, uh, Sold Me Down the River, which is a 12 inch single. And um, then there's another one there. It's got this. Has that got a sticker on it? Yeah, I've got to take the sticker off. Presence of Love. There, 12 inch. That's from 1988. Um, declaration. And uh, yeah, they're, they're sort of, um, this guy here went on to sing with Big Country, um, not so long back, but he's not in the band anymore, Mike Peters, um, but yeah, there's electric guitars in this and stuff, so they're sort of very sort of uh, a light rock sort of thing. The alarm, probably a bit of punk in there as well, I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I listened to it. Um, but yeah. Um, another one there. Eye of the Hurricane album. That's from 1987. If anybody's got these records, let me know what you think. Um... An another electric folklore, which is just a, um, is it a four track. Sorry, no, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six songs on there, which are live. Um, this one called Strength, which is uh, an album of theirs from. I don't say when. Oh, I'm not sure, but that's an it's an English edition anyway. I'm not sure when that it doesn't say on there at all. Maybe I should look inside. Um, then we go on to the band that Mike Peters went on to sing for, Big Country, Republican Party Reptile EP. That's a limited edition 3466 six. and um, that came out in 1991 and then we've got East of Eden extended version 12 inch and uh, that came out in no idea <laughs> stupid to it right um, Another 12 inch there, Harvest Home. Very cool, Stuart Adamson, who was in the skids, is a uh, singer and guitarist in this as well. And um, he's classed as the lead guitar. And then you've got Bruce Watson there that plays guitar as well. Um, but yeah, Re I do really like Big Country, so. And, um, as you'll see by my collection, it's quite a bit of it. Uh, Wonderland, 12 inch single. I've got loads of 7 inch of theirs as well. And you can pick them up for a good price as well. In good nick. King of Emotion, one of my favourite songs of theirs. 12 inch. And, uh, yeah, that's from 88. 
Uh, this one is chain. Ah, uh, sorry, chance. And uh, that came out in. I have not got a clue. <laughs> I think that's very early. That actually. Um, one great thing. Extended mix. Surprise, surprise, doesn't say on there. I'd have to take it out. But seeing as these videos take half an hour normally, I'm not, not taking them all out. I'll be it till tomorrow doing it. Um, Fields of Fire, which is a cool song. 12 inch. And uh, that one's off of the first album, I think. Fields of Fire was first or second. We'll find out in a minute when we check the album. Then they got In A Big Country, which is off the first album. And, uh, yeah, really cool. Um, we got another Fields of Fire there. All right, we've got this one called Alone, 12 inch picture disc. Um, this is, from 93, limited edition picture disc. Alone, never take me to your place. No, never take your place, sorry. Rocking in the free worlds on there as well. So, yes. That's really cool. Um, we've got the, should we do this album? Ah, uh, we'll do this one. This is not in the order. Um, got Steel Town there which came out in 84, right? This is the promo copy, it's got the, sil it's got the gold embossed or stamped um, into the sleeve there. So that's the promo. And these two here are just the standard issues. Um, so yeah, really cool. And... Uh, East of Eden was on this record that we showed, I showed you before. Um, first album, The Crossing. It's got In A Big Country, Chances on there. Um, Harvest Home, Fields of Fire is on the first album. But yeah, really cool. Check it out. That one's the red um, textured uh, sleeve. And then I've got to put this in the sleeve, but I don't know why these are not in sleeves. But I've got another one there. And then I've got the blue one that came out as well. So these are, I think they're both UK. So both came out, yeah, obviously 1983. And uh, this. They've got the same Mercury number on there as well. But yeah, blue and red copies. Um, got another cool album, The Seer, which has got an awesome song called The Teacher. That's amazing. Look Away's on there, that's awesome. Um, yeah, just really good. And. Uh, yeah, don't mind that cover either, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I've got another blue one of these, uh, the first album. But this one is very much shinier. This one is shinier on the silver than this one. This one's quite matte. So, um, what have we got here? Oh, we're on to Marillion now. So we've got the Marillion Sympathy. And uh, no one can picture discs. Um, <clears throat> Market Square Heroes, 12 inch, which is off the first album. Garden Party, 12 inch, off the first album. Another Market Square Heroes, off the first album. Another Garden Party, guess what I'm going to say next, off the first album. And then. He Knows You Know, that's off the first album, I think, I'm sure it is, find out after. 
Incommunicado, 12 inch, pretty cool. And uh, Lavender, love that song. Loads of people don't like it, I love it. Uh, Punch and Judy, love this as well. Really cool. Um, Kaylee, 12 inch. Sugar Mice, 12 inch. Assassin, 12 inch. He Knows You Know, 12 inch. Don't know why these are not in order. Another Assassin there, 12 inch. And then albums, Clutching at Straws. Last album with Fish. Really cool album. There's another one there. And that came out, what, 88? Uh, no, 87. Um, Fugazi, awesome album. Um, love it. Um, the Thinking Man's band, that this, this band is for sure. Uh, another Fugazi. The artwork is awesome on these records. It's just pretty damn cool. <laughs> um, Fever Magpie, awesome live album. One of the first live albums I ever owned on record. Actually, no, actually that is the first live album I ever owned on record, on vinyl. Misplaced Childhood, awesome. Another Misplaced Childhood, you know, when you got the uh, you know, artwork like that, it's amazing. And, um, you know, it makes you want to go out and buy it just for the artwork and think, whoa, that's cool. And then you get it home and you play the record and you go, oh my, that's awesome. <laughs> I started to sound a bit like, uh... no, I'm not going to say I sound like him. Right, another two there, so that can be about five. Yeah, no, six. Is it six? Yeah, six copies of Misplaced, just in case I misplaced one. Uh, misplaced? Uh. No, you didn't get the joke, eh? Right, okay. Um, next one, Reel to Reel. This is a live one, I think. Yes, it is. Live in 1984. Side one's in Canada. The other side's in England. So... Um, another reel to reel. These are different, I think. Yeah, that one's the original. This one's on Fame. Slightly later edition. Um, this one's got FA number. They both got barcodes. Um, both on EMI. But yeah. And I think the colouring on them is slightly different. Yeah, the Fame one is lighter, slightly. Um, this one here, Brief Encounter, um, and that one's recorded live, that's, what is it, in 86, on the US tour, <coughs> <coughs> script for Justice Tear, second album that is, awesome, sorry, not second album, first album, what am I on about, the first album. Get it right, JV. Oh, this one's got no sleeve on it. Why not? That is just like, I love that. That is really cool. You know, that is pretty, pretty damn awesome cover. <laughs> love it. Um, another script there. Um, then we go on to the band that most people really love so much the amount of people that I know that have liked this band and then hated it is just if I could if I could have a quid or a dollar well yeah a bit pound but every time someone says to me I used to like you two can't stand them now I'd be quite a millionaire right so there's you two rattle and hum See, I still like you two. So, another rattle and hum. Joshua Tree. These are all original. Um, none of them are new copies. Another Joshua Tree. 
Not a Joshua tree. Um, wide awake in America. That does look better. It's just the sleeves crap. I'm going to change the sleeve, I think. So that's a live one. Um, then one of my favourite albums of theirs. I'm going to change that cover because that cover's crap. Right. Unforgettable Fire. And I've got another one there. I don't find these covers are that great for these records. Right. Under a Blood Red Sky. Awesome live album. Awesome. Live at Red Rocks. And there's another one there. Another edition with special low price. And then I've got another one here. Really cool. I love the intro to... Um, oh, New Year's Day on this. That is... It's just awesome. The, the bass on it. Oh, cool. Uh, War. Amazing album. Another War there. Gatefold. All original. No... Re no... Um, New ones here, and then another war in better condition. October, it's got one of my favourite songs on, which is called October. Um, Boy, which needs a better sleeve, cover sleeve I think. First album. Um, 12 inch um, of fire, Jay Swallow, 11 o'clock TikTok, The Ocean, live at the Paradise Theatre, Boston, Massachusetts, USA, March 81. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. oh, where the streets have no name, 12 inch. Now, I find these. U2 covers quite boring and um, just pretty pretty boring and shit to be quite honest um, the 7 inches don't wear very well and these 12 inches well look how worn that is up there and they hardly get handled um, I still haven't found what I'm looking for That's because you're in the fucking dark. <laughs> um, with or without you. Um, the Unforgettable Fire, which is an amazing song. I love it. One of my favourite U2 songs. Um, this is another one that's hard to get in good nick. Um, Pride, in the name of love. And because uh, of the white cover... Just full of the handprints and the fingerprints. I've never fa found, and I've got loads of copies of the 7 inch, I've never found one that's in, been in perfect condition. And then the last one, which everybody would be pleased at about um, U2 or anything related to Bono. This actually has got Bono singing on it. It's clannered in a lifetime. I only got it it's got a huge poster and. Um, if I get fed up with Bono, I can always hang it up and throw darts at it. So, yeah. Uh, and then, Daltix that I picked up recently. Um, without realising, I already had it. Um, and I went and got that thinking, yeah, great. I haven't got that record because it was cheap. And I end up get, having it anyway. So, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, that's that's the one I ordered. It cost me about three three pounds something. <laughs> um, there you go, another cool record. Oh, if I can pick it out, Chris Rear, whatever happened to Benny Santini, and uh, yeah, there's a song on there I love. Um, three Angels, really like that. 
Um, tennis, what tennis from like play tennis? Well, this is the only tennis I like playing. This record can't stand the game. Right. Um, wired to the moon, and I've got two of them. And that's yeah, that's from '84. Um, Shamrock Diaries. I do like Chris Rea. Some of the stuff is a bit out there. Some of it I like. Well, lots of it I like. On the beach. If I need to chill out, I'll stick this on. Um, then I've got <clears throat> Dancing with Strangers. You can normally put this up for like 50p for an al album in Good Nick. And I've got three. Um, very, very easy. Some artists are so easy to pick up cheap. It's, uh, it's criminal really, because they are yeah, Chris Rea is really good. Road to Hell. I paid to pay for this. I paid a quid for this. Right. And I was looking for it for a long time. Um, in record stores and that. I didn't want to just go on eBay and buy it. I wanted to stumble across it. That's how I like to collect my records. Stumbling across them. Because um, when I bought stuff on CD or stuff on any format really in a shop brand new or I bought it ordered it off eBay there's no surprise about it um, really isn't um, I love to flick through records and then go oh my god yes <laughs> and then someone else goes to grab it and you sort of oh, fight them for it yeah well I didn't have to fight them for the Chris Rea <laughs> um, New Light Through Old Windows, one of the, the best of that I used to listen to that my uncle had. That's what got me into Chris Rea. Um, oh, looking for the summer 12 inch single. Old Burge. Right. <laughs> Better not get too excited, I'll choke my guts up. Right, Chris de Berg, next. Flying Colours. One of my mates is getting into Christopherberg. He's uh, bought he bought a few off of me. Into the light. I did have more than this. And then I got two of Man on the Line. Um, the Getaway. Crusader cost me a quid at the end of a perfect day that was an, a quid and then we got Spanish train and other stories got three of them which is from way back in 1976 I think it is yeah I think it's 76 I'm sure it is right um, and then Chris's this, is this his first? I think this is his first record. Far behind these can beyond these castle wall, wall th <laughs> far beyond these castle walls. Try and say that when you're drunk. Um, yeah, 1975. And then got best moves, which is just a bear star. And there's another one, slightly f faded. And then there's a very best of Christopher Berg got all the cool tracks on and um, that is it for that section and uh, that's 24 minutes 20 yeah four and a half minutes so keep rocking and um, check out the stuff I showed you you may like it and then again you may not but that section is gonna be a bit hit and miss that section sort of stuff that there's a lot of stuff in there I like, and then there's a few things at the end. I don't, no, actually, no, I think it's down there that's that. That should be, that's going to be completely different to what I normally show. So, um, yeah, see you later.